Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Got another rare collectible from Wolfgang Gross or Kevin Gross. This is some Powell Rivers 87 grain 223556. Don't know what it's gonna do. We're gonna throw a couple rounds in gel out of the 10 and 16 inch and then probably throw the 16 inch against a level three poly plate just to see what it will do. We have our Pro Chrono Digital as always at about 10 to 12 feet. It's 90 degrees outside today. I have my canopy up, so I apologize if I look a little on the green side in the video. But rest assured, I'm okay and healthy and plenty hydrated. Since I'm not quite sure what this round will do, we'll take one shot and then go actually look at the block and then take the second one. I do believe Kevin has some sectioned pictures of these, so I'll put a picture in picture if we can find that. Velocity 2200. Now we'll see what we get from the 16 inch. I wonder if we'll see, what, 2500 feet per second from an 87 green? Very impressive velocities. Twenty-five forty-nine. Wow, right on the money. Looks like we have a fairly long neck on this 87 grain bullet, right around four, four and a half inches. But wow, look at that fragmentation starting at the eight inch mark and extending almost about a six inch spread there. Some of those larger wound cavities are from some subsonic large tumbling rounds, but those jacket fragments that you see in there all belong to this 556 load. That is very very impressive limited penetration to right around the 16 inch mark so almost the entire length of the block looks like for the 16 inch i'll have to get a fresh block there but not not too bad try to get a top down shot here hard to see the sun's destroying my ability to see but there's some jacket fragments starting around the five inch mark Wow, 2,200 feet per second from an 87 grain. Fits in a magazine, loads in a standard AR. Here is our 16 inch results. A much shorter neck, right around one inch from one and a half to the four inch mark. There's some jacket fragments. And then starting right around the four inch to the nine inch mark is where we get all this violent fragmentation from that core. Out to the 12 inch mark, there's some jacket fragments and then you can see that little tiny line right there. That's something of that bullet. This was a fresh block exiting at 16 inches, but I don't see it anywhere. I don't see it in the other block, so maybe it was just a little piece of the core. Here's a top down shot, maybe hard to see because of the sun. You can see some fragments going on there. There's all those part of the core, interesting. Seems like a pretty legit bullet. We'll test this against a level three poly just to see what it will do. While we're at it, we'll test this against body armor. I have a ProTech or some kind of level three panel that was surplus from Sportsman's Guide. We'll use our 16 inch here and see what we get. Probably should have repositioned all my stuff. Velocity 24, 92.
here is our shot right here. Like I said, these are fresh surplus panels. They have no other shots on them. I probably should have set this at 45 feet, but eh, whatever. Now the question is, did it go through? Oh, no penetration. Quite the dimple there. About the size of a baseball, maybe a third of its diameter there. Clay's soft because it is hot outside today. But no penetration on this basically three quarter inch thick level three poly plate. These heavy four caliber bullets are definitely interesting, especially this 87 grain. This is probably the heaviest 5.56223 loading that I've tested. It seemed to do pretty well in clear gel, at least, you know, in terms of penetration depths and fragmentation and velocity. I'm not sure why the Army never fielded it. There's not a whole lot of information out there around it. So if you have any insight into why this wasn't chosen or any thoughts or concerns, always leave comments below. I'd like to thank Kevin for sending us some of this to test. I wish I had more of it and we could have checked velocity and all of our different barrel lengths, but when I only have a handful of rounds, the videos are quite short indeed. I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters and you all for watching. I'm hot. You guys stay cool. Until next time, catch you at the range.